Matthew 25, verse 40, it goes thus. The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. What does this mean? It simply means, whatever I do or fail to do to my neighbor, that I do unto God. Whatever you do or fail to do to your neighbor, that you do unto God. It means your neighbor is God. It also means you are God. In other words, my neighbor, you are God. Yes. My mentor once told me that whenever I seem not to feel God's presence, God's power, God's support upon my life, I should look into my love work. What is my love work? To go around having eyes to see the needy, to go around having ears to listen for their cry and meet their needs. God's love never fails. God's love can make a king abdicate his throne. God's love brings peace where there is dispute. God's love settles peace forever because it's, it is the right knowledge of God and the right knowledge of God settles peace. So, viewers all over the world, your, neighbor, your neighbors are the needy, the physically challenged, the crippled, the blind, the lame, the dumb, the deaf, those who are less privileged in the society, the orphans, even the old people in the society, these are your neighbors. Care for them, look for them, support them, share whatever you have with them. Your love, your care, your support. No matter how small it is, what do you have in your hand? Let me see your palm. You may not see anything, but there's something God has given to you to share with those who are in need. Look for them and find them in the society. Look for them, find them in the community around you. When you go into their midst, there you will find God waiting to receive you, waiting to have you, waiting to bless you, waiting to prosper you in all ramification. So you need to go into their midst. There you will find God. You don't need to start searching for God here and there. Are you looking for God? Come, let me show you God. God is your neighbor. is your friend. God is those who are around you looking for what to eat, without finding. Whatever you have in your hand right now is what God will use to bless others through you. Give. And it will be given to you. Good measure. Press down. Run it over. Come back to your life. So please do. 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 Look for the needy right now. Go into the society and start looking for them. Bless them. God is in their midst. Going to their midst, you find God sitting among them. Going to their midst, you find God relaxing among them. God finds joy, find pleasure in sitting in the midst of the physically challenged. Crippled, blind, deaf, dumb, orphans, little children. He's there because he's their father. They are fatherless. He's their companion. They are lonely. He's their benefactor because they are hungry and in want. God can use you to take that position. So therefore, my neighbor, you are God. And when you go in search of these people, blessing them, God will visit you in a wonderful way. Thank you.